guys welcome back to my channel for another video if you guys are new to my channel my name is Sadie's make sure that you are subscribed hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an upload make sure that you guys are following me on social media my Instagram is at Sadie's Milan and my snapchat is at Miss Sadie's any business inquiries are in the description box so today y'all I've been a little bit I'm not gonna say I've been slack but I've been trying to get out like the vlogs and stuff before I come back and just get out some sit down chit chat content I've been really really lately I've been into like this whole I'm not gonna say this whole but I've really been I've been back into like manifestation and just affirmations like I've really been taking it serious like just really watching my words and different things like that and I wanted to just come on here and I wanted to share with you guys some you know content let y'all you know see what's going on what's been on my mind lately and just give y'all some tips some advice I haven't done these videos in a minute and yeah let's get into it okay so i know it is the top of the year well it will be soon the top of the year and everybody's gonna be on this you know motivational this and that trying to start businesses and do different things and that's amazing and i'm glad that you know people see the entrepreneurship in themselves right so i wanted to give you guys some tips because i know that some people have this you know, some people have this testimony where they have, they said, I quit my job and two days later, I submitted my idea and I became a billionaire. That's not everybody's story, right? So I wanted to give you guys some tips on how to balance the dream and the job. And recently, actually, maybe like two months ago, myself, I, I put myself getting like a part-time job, right? Kind of found out the job wasn't part-time and I just like resigned. I was like, oh, I can't do this. I can't be here all day like this. I, I ain't, what, what Ebony from Players Club said, I just came to dance. You know, I just came to dance a little bit, you know, get a few hours in and go about my business. I ain't signed up to be here till six o'clock. I got customers to do, right? So anyways, let's get into it. We balancing a dream and a job. And basically, um, when I was actually like on that job, when I would leave the job, I had to come straight to the shop, do my customers, you know, do what I need to do for YouTube, get my content out for YouTube, do schoolwork, whatever, whatever, right? And it was times where like I, I was getting super exhausted, like even within the two weeks that I was there, I think it was about two weeks, right? So I was getting like exhausted or whatever and you know, but I was like, you know what, now nah, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna do what I need to do, right? And I was like talking to people because obviously people ask me about my makeup and how did I, you know, how could I get up early and do my makeup and this and that. And I told them, I'm like, you know, I I love doing this. This is my passion. Like this is not, nobody don't have to pay me to do my makeup, wake up and do my makeup. Like I'm going to get me together, period. So, um, oh, sorry y'all. So, yeah, basically, um, I was just telling one of the girls, she was saying how she, you know, she'd be so tired. She, she was, I think she was saying she make dinner. And she was just saying how, like, you know, she gets so tired and, like, she just don't feel like doing it. And I said, girl, your off days or, like, even after work or even here, make you a few dinners. Make you buy five dinners. Freeze them up. By the time you get here, let them know I'm selling dinners. Five dollars. You never know. Like, people will support your business. And basically, you know, I was just explaining to her about balancing the dream and the job and just basically saying like it's okay to still work your nine to five it's okay to even work a nine to five in general because you know the world has publicized being a ball so everybody like oh i don't want to work i want to do my own business like my brother was telling me about one of his friends was like i don't know what i want to do i just want to start a business i just i just need me a business and it's like you don't even know what you want to do you just want to do something you just want to be into something right and so basically the way you balance a dream and a job is when you get off that job, right? I don't care if it's an hour, 30 minutes, two hours, 45 minutes. Work on your dream. Work on, If it's a book you write, if you got to write a page at night, write that book. If it's a recipe you trying to, I don't care if you got to bake a cake every day when you get up, when you get off of work. Bake that cake every day until you perfect it, right? Because if you work your job every day, and you're so exhausted and you're so exhausted when you get off of work you never have the energy to go and, and and um pursue your passion or pursue your dream that's how jobs that's how jobs trick people right because this job wears you out so much every day not everybody's job some people love their job and some people work some amazing jobs right like flight attendant when i was a flight attendant i loved my job right but it's some jobs that drain you so much they don't pay you enough, right? 
So you live in paycheck to paycheck, right? You live in paycheck to paycheck. It's not enough. You got to try to do overtime. So you doing overtime. That's taking away time where you could be pursuing your passion or pursuing the, the dream that you got, right? You work your extra overtime. You there all day. You exhausted. You don't have no energy, right? To do nothing else. You don't even have time for your kids and your family. That's how these jobs get you. And that's why then 20, 25 years later, you're like, oh my God, I've been at this job since I was 19. You still on the same pace. Yeah, maybe they gave you a little promotion, you know. But you got to find that time to balance a dream in a job when you get off of work, when you on your break. When I was working at that job and I was on my break, listen, I'm on my, I'm on my phone studying for my exam that I got at midnight. I'm studying for something. I'm, 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 I'm writing down content. This same book right here, I'm writing down content. You get what I'm saying? So balancing a dream in a job. Number one, do not go home and sleep. Do not go home and sleep. Even myself, I even do this with YouTube, right? Because YouTube is my second job, basically. Yeah, I'm, I am going to be a full-time YouTuber. But YouTube, I do secondary after I work at the salon, right? But, like, last night, I went home and I said, you know, I'm so tired. After I finished getting my hair done, I was like, oh, I don't feel like filming today. I was like, I'm just going to go home and go to sleep. I said, you know what? No, I'm going to go home, shower. As soon as I get in the shower, I'm going to make me a little espresso shot. I'm going to get on my computer, finish my assignment for school, and then I'm going to post the video. I'm going to get this video edited. I'm going to get this video uploaded. I can't say I want to be this YouTube. I want 100,000 subscribers. I want 20,000 subscribers, and I'm not doing the work. Every time, I'm tired. I'm tired. Like, E.T., say you got to push through your pain even when you're tired, even when you don't feel like doing it. Just think about if you only did stuff when you feel like it. You wouldn't get nothing done because there's plenty of times where you don't feel like going to school, you don't feel like going to work, you don't feel like going to church to feed your spirit, but you go. So you got to, y'all got to, we have to get over that. I'm tired. I don't feel like doing it. I'm exhausted. I don't feel like doing it. Oh, I'm sick. I don't feel like, no. Those are times where you got to push through. You get what I'm saying? I'm about to go in on y'all. Let me get back to my notes. That's number one. Don't go home and sleep. I don't care if it's 30 minutes. If you're trying to get a workout go, I don't care if it's 30 minutes. I'm back on my workout. Listen, I do 100 jump ropes. I do 25 sit-ups, 25 squats. But I get my workout in. I don't care if it's 30 minutes. Then, on your break, when you have that lunch break, that 30 minutes to an hour break, post on social, take that time to post on social media. Post you running a special with your soul in. You're doing $25 soul in. I mean, $50, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. You know, I don't want to get nobody no prices. But you know what I'm saying? Post you, you, um, you will be selling banana pudding this weekend. Post those things. You need to be marketing. You need to be networking. You need to be telling people about your business. You get what I'm saying? So, take your breaks. Don't use your break and be, and be talking to your, your, um, your comrades, your co-workers, don't, don't use it, hey, y'all, I'm going to my car. And you get in your car, you post. You get in your car, you go live. Hey, y'all, just letting y'all know this weekend I'll be at such and such and such. I'm selling my dinners this weekend. Post your stuff. Take that, it's the, take that every, every, every time counts. And even for myself, I'm learning time management is everything. Time management is everything. We have the time. We just don't make it. Just like yesterday, I was back there sitting in the dryer. And I got up and I said, dang, I sat up here on Instagram for 30 minutes while I was under the dry. I was supposed to be typing up my, my, because I, I do this thing where I type my schoolwork on my phone sometimes. If I know it off the back, I'll be typing. I say, okay, I'm going to send this to myself. And when I get to my computer, I'm going to finish it, right? Take every time, every free time you got, it should be going towards something productive, right? Okay. Posting break. Right. And then social media, right? You need to network. You need to network when you your co while you at work. You need to be networking with your coworkers. I'm sure in certain jobs you work with plenty of people. You work with plenty of people. You need to be looking at them when you see your coworkers. You need to be looking at Miss Sue saying Miss Sue gonna be one of my customers. She gonna be one of my customers. She gonna be one of my. You you, you look at them like customers. They your coworkers. You be nice to them genuinely, but you should be looking at them like I could. She could be one of my customers. I got the photo shoot. She could be one of my models. I mean, oh, he look like he like to eat. Let me ask him if he want to buy dinner. You got to use what you got to get where you have to go. Use the resources that you have. Maybe you may not have that much time to network, but you you have, you, 
within the means that you have, you can take that time to network. For example, my mom used to work at Walmart. My mom always, growing up, my mom always kept like a little part-time job here and there, you know, where things may have gotten slow with hair. While we was living in this development, it was like five minutes away from a Walmart, driving distance, walking maybe 15, 20 minutes. She started working at this Walmart. She would always do her hair. Um, then people say, oh my God, you change your hair every three days. Who did your hair? Who did your hair? She like, I'll do my hair. I'll do my hair. Majority of my mom's co my, majority of my mom's clients hair came from that Walmart in a situation where, and the thing about it is, I'll let y'all, I'll, I'll let her tell y'all about that situation one day. But basically how it worked out is she went and got the job, right? Follow me. She got the job as a part-time job just to make extra money where it ends meet, where things was falling short with hair, right? She didn't have pride. She went and got a job. She could have said, oh, I ain't going to get no job. I do hair. I got a business. No, she went and got a job at Walmart, right? I was in elementary. And when I tell you my mom probably worked at Walmart anywhere from six months to a year to the point where she didn't have to work there no more. She was getting so many clients. She was going here at my house. My house was packed. I would come from school, I could smell a spritz walking up. I'm like, me and my little brother looking like, she in there doing hair. People sitting down all in my living room. I'm like, oh God. So much so to the point where she, we, we, she, my mom always made us clean up, but she's like, when y'all leave, make sure in the morning when y'all brush our teeth, spray that sink down, spray the bathroom down, I got customers. Like, she started booming. But she wasn't, she went to her job, she wasn't ashamed, she wasn't saying, yeah, I do hair. She was like, I do hair. Here. I don't even think what business cards was popping back then. She had a cell phone, the same number she had for the longest. 786, I think it was 786-333, something up, somewhere like that. She had a number like that. But she wasn't ashamed. She was promoting her business every day. And from her working her dream in her job, the job that she was working, it brought her all this clientele. And now... Years later, we in this salon. You get what I'm saying? So don't be ashamed to work your dream and your job. I know social media has made us think everybody a boss, 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 boss. Work your dream and your job to get where you got to go. But meantime, between time, promote, network, pass out your cards, tell people about your business, be posting on social media, be proactive in your business. So I hope these tips helped you guys with working a dream and a job. If you know somebody that's doing this, you can share this video with them. If you yourself are working a job right now, you want to start a business, these are some tips that could help you. This is just coming from me, what I know. I don't know it all, but these are just some things that have helped myself, even me, working jobs and having a business as well sometimes has helped me. So I hope you guys like this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend about my channel. Y'all, we are about 35 days into the new year and I'm almost at my goal of 5,000 subscribers and I and I believe I'm gonna I'm not gonna say I think I believe I'm gonna surpass that so yeah like comment and subscribe leave a comment in the comment box y'all always DMing me <laughs> Y'all always DM me but y'all don't never leave a comment that's why some people DMs I don't I don't respond to them I'm like you, you said the video was so good. It was this and that. And you could have left a comment. Y'all got to keep this interaction going. You know, YouTube like that stuff. So, yeah, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. You could be watching anybody else's videos, but you decided to click on my videos. So, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.